This is one of those pictures that after working on it, I put it aside and it has just sat in my working folder and it's been there now for a good few months. It was taken at the food festival. Uh, I've got a feeling he's dressed in what's termed as being steampunk, which I think is where they've usually got these goggles. So we have this type of tunic and this type of hat. He was selling fudge. This is the company logo and it was something devil. And, and it was all these bits and pieces that after experimenting with brushes, I thought this could work. It's going to be something a little bit different. I suppose it's going to be a little bit of a painterly effect, a little bit of a stencil effect. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you. Right, let's come over to the layers panel. We're going to put in a new empty layer. We're going to fill this layer with white to do that. We're going to go over to edit. We're going to drop down to fill layer. And when fill layer opens, content use from the drop down menu there, select white. We're going to click OK to that. Now to allow us to see the image underneath, we're going to put in a layer mask. So we're going to click on this icon to add a layer mask. In goes the layer mask. Over to the toolbox, let's pick up a paintbrush. Now with the paintbrush, this is where the experimentation takes part. Now I like to access my paintbrushes by right clicking. So if you right click, that brings up the brushes here. If I just press enter or return, that's going to remove the panel. It's exactly the same as looking under brush options. Click in here, as you can see with this particular one, it does disappear off the recording area, which, uh, yeah, one reason for using this method. The other reason is I just like using it. So right click, try that. That will bring up the brush panel here and we're going to go straight down to wet media and we're going to scroll down. I'm going to select this one here, which is a 54 pixel. It is called rough dry brush, right? Pressing enter or return, remove that panel. We're going to use the right hand square bracket. The right hand square bracket is going to make this brush bigger, something like that. Left hand square bracket makes it smaller. So I've just made it very slightly smaller. I'm just going to click down and you can see the way we're bringing back part of the image underneath, moving it across into that area there, just bringing it down, just giving it a little bit of a pattern over the image, something like this. As I've said, this is all about experimenting. There isn't a right, there isn't a wrong, it's just giving it a try and seeing what you've come up with. Right, now that we've done that, I'm going to right click again, we're going to change it this time to pen pressure. This is where I started uh, messing around with brushes and I suddenly thought, hang on a second, this could be pretty good. Right, we're going to go for squid. I'm going to press enter or return to remove our panel. I'm going to use the right hand square bracket. That's going to make it bigger. I'm going to take it right up in size to something like this. And if you just click down, you can see it's very, very smaller. The more you click, the bigger it becomes. And if you move it around, look at the way we can start to bring back the image underneath giving it that nice, it's almost like a paint to the effect, isn't it? Really like the way this is working. Round that area, something like this. And there it is there. And you can see the way it's uh, working with those little blobs that we put in to start off with. Looking pretty good so far. Right click in. Let's go to this one here. This is going to be ink blots. That sounds good too. Pressing enter or return using the right hand square bracket. That's going to make the brush bigger into something like this. Clicking down. There's our ink blots. Like the way this is working, right? Having a bit of fun with this and coming over the area and just dropping the size of the brush down using the left hand square bracket over this part. Bring that in perhaps over his face a little bit. Great stuff, right? Right click again. Let's choose, oh, let's go for the eyeball. I'm using this because we got it in the image itself. So, you know, try and pick up a shape as well that's perhaps represented in the picture. That's my excuse for using it. The other thing is I thought it just could be a good idea. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, a little bit of an eyeball going in there. If you've got a bit of paint, press X on the keyboard. That's now put white. Don't forget white is going to remove it. So you can use the white there, press X again, and just put it in a few around this area like that, pressing X again, just clicking down. That'll do nicely. Right click, let's try a different type of brush again. Let's scroll down and let's go for, that looks interesting. Just give it a try, see what it looks like. Press enter or return to remove the panel using the right hand square bracket to make this brush bigger. And uh, okay, need to press X on the keyboard. And if we just click down with this and you can see the way that's coming over the image, 
Great stuff. Right, that will do nicely for now because looking at the picture, I think we need to add a little bit of color. So we're going to click on the background layer here, layer one in my case, it may be background, whatever it is in yours, just click on this one, the one underneath the layer mask. We're going to put in an adjustment layer using gradient. Now when this opens with the gradient fill, gradient, there's black through to uh, transparent. We're going to click in the window and I'm going to select this one here. This yellow, violet, orange, blue. Thank you for telling me. There it is. We're going to click OK and you can see the impact that's had on our picture. Let's click OK and we're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to go down. We're going to use soft lights. Now using the soft lights blend mode will allow us to see the image underneath. There it is. That's looking pretty good. But there's more because with this we can change the style from linear. Let's go down to angle like the way that's looking. You've got that angle at the top there. And if we just swing it round into this sort of area, you can see the way we can begin to move the color around. For this image here, I'm going to take it to round about the 52. I just like the uh, the way that's working on his face there, just perhaps a little bit more. You can see the way we've got changing color like that. For now, we're going to click OK. Don't forget this is an adjustment layer. We can come in, we can change anything with this picture. Clicking back on the mask, so make sure you're working on the mask. Bringing my brush over, I'm going to right click. I'm going to change it again back to wet media brushes. We're going to pick up this text looking one. Now with this text looking one, pressing enter or return, I'm going to make the brush bigger, something like that there would be pretty good. I'm going to click down going to press X on the keyboard. That's going to remove it. So we just got a little bit of text like that. I'm going to drop down to our tool options down here. There it is. And uh, yeah, brush settings. going to swing the brush around. I've got a feeling it's going to be around about minus 40, which is going to put it horizontal. That looks pretty good like that. Just going to press the X to remove it. Let's put that out of the way. And uh, pressing X to put black as a foreground color, just a couple of little bits of text in like this. In fact, let's put in a new empty layer. Now with the new empty layer, we can now just click down, we can add some text like that. And let's come back into tool options. Let's come back to brush settings. I'm going to swing this right the way around, putting it onto the uh, vertical there, just a little bit further around into that area. OK, back up a bit again. It's probably going to be around about the 50 degrees, something like that. And yeah, let's leave it like that for now. Just clicking down. And there it is. Job done. Just give it a try. See what you come up with. It's, you know, it's just a great way to experiment with brushes. Don't forget, you're using a mask as well. So if you want to change anything, if you want to adjust anything, uh, for example, if I just come back to the uh, pen pressure brushes and Let's go for something like the, let's try something just a little bit different. Let's go for, he says, you can tell the concentration, can't you? Uh, let's go for something like, let's go back to the squid one. Yeah, I'm going to just try this a second. Make the brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to press X on the keyboard. That's going to put white as a foreground color. This is going to allow me to come in and just remove some of those heavier areas like that, pressing X again, just to put fill in some of these areas around there. And there it is. Job done. Go on, give it a try. It is something a little bit different. Experiment. Every time you do it, it'll come out completely different. Let's put this onto a black background. I'm going to press the tab key to remove all the panels using command zero, control zero to open it up to fit on screen. Go on. Give it a go. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.